right guys, good morning. I just got to my friend Jessica's house. We're gonna have a fun day, go shopping, hang out. There's hair on my lens. Um, yeah, but I just got here and I need to turn on the music or I'm gonna get copyright flagged. But uh, anyway, yeah, we'll just see what today holds. We just got to this little antique place. We're gonna go and see what they have. This is so cute. Oh, get it. I kind of like this little booth. This is fun. This is such a cute little thrift shop that Jessica brought me to. And there's a lot of like cute little like rustic things in this booth right now, like that. I just found something so cute. 12 bucks. And that's kind of like garland. That might be really fun either on that entry table or across the fireplace, I think. 66 inch twig of garland. I'm sure I could find something to do with that. I like it. Yeah, let's, let's see it as a whole. Model it for us. <laughs> that's actually really cute. And it's kind of like, strips. yeah, for sure. It's like kind of glittery too. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right, let's get it. Just found the greatest steal, a blanket ladder for 20 bucks. Like where can you find one of these for 20 bucks? Nowhere. I found this cute little like farmhouse looking utensils bucket. What's up you guys? I'm home. It's a lot later. Um, I had to come home and start editing. I'm feeling so behind and overwhelmed. I feel like I need to really try to like stop talking about editing in the vlogs though because it's vlogmas so like duh. I'm gonna be editing all the dang time. Tell you what, the filming is not really that hard. It's the editing. Um, I really enjoy the filming part of it but I just, I don't know, I'm such a perfectionist with editing that I just get really particular and it takes me a lot longer than it should. But anyway, I've been working on editing and I'm unfortunately gonna have to smush day 10 and 11 together because I just, I don't know what happened. I just didn't have enough footage and I just don't really like uploading like five minute vlogs. I just feel like it's kind of pointless. I don't know. Let me know what your opinion is on that in the comments down below. If you care if they're shorter or longer or whatever. But a lot of times for me, like if I'm gonna watch a vlog, I kinda like wanna sit down and be entertained for a little bit. So I usually won't click on one if it's like less than 10 minutes. That's just me personally though, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Total side note, I got some really fun packages in the mail today. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you know I was kinda ranting about a palette that I ordered from Kylie Cosmetics. It finally came in today even though I never got a shipping number or confirmation, but the palette just arrived. I saw on uh, her Twitter that they said they were having some issues due to the wildfires in California. So I'm like, okay, any little bit that I was mad immediately went away because of that. Cause I totally understand. I think that people whose orders were affected by the fact that they had to close down um, their facility or whatever, I think they should have sent like an email blast because not everyone's gonna be checking Twitter. But regardless, I got the palette today and 
Hopefully everyone at her facilities are okay because she said that some of the families had to be evacuated. Um, that's something that I've been keeping a really strong eye on and I'm just keeping everyone in California in my thoughts and prayers and so sorry for anybody who lost their home, especially right before the holidays. I just can't imagine. I feel weird now just segueing into makeup now that we were talking about that. Ugh, I don't know, that feels weird. So I'm sorry, like I, that's not meant to seem like inconsiderate at all. It's just sometimes, sometimes I don't have all the right things to say. Don't take that as me just being kind of nonchalant about it because it's not like that at all. But I did finally get this in. I just ordered one. I was originally gonna order the Naughty and the Nice palette, but the Nice palette is gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but I just have so many palettes that are similar right now that I was like, I just don't really need it. And I'm not on the PR list, so I did buy this with my own money. And I was hoping to have it a little while before now, but I'm at least glad that I got it uh, before the holidays were over. So here's what it looks like. It's kind of like a velvet on the word naughty. Kind of feels like uh, the OG naked palette, that kind of feel. Here is the palette. I just thought this one was pretty cool. It's a unique palette. I literally cannot say that I have anything like this. The colors um, are very unique. The whole combination just is really not something that I have. And I was really digging a lot of these cool tones. I personally love cool tones. I love a good warm tone palette too, don't get me wrong. I kind of like that this one there's a mix. But I love my cool tone shadows. So I was really excited about some of these grays in here. They looked pretty good. If you guys want like a tutorial or something, let me know. I was kind of planning on maybe doing something with this for... A holiday look. Also got this package from ColourPop. I guess they're launching five new Super Shock shadows and three of the new Supernova shadows. So I'm assuming that's probably what's in here. I have seen these. Where have I seen these? Is it Sephora? I don't know. Maybe it's like Home Goods. I've seen these little things before. It's just got 17 essential things in it. It's got earring backs, deodorant, towelette, nail polish remover, clear elastics, lip balm, nail file, tampon, hairspray, clear nail polish, floss, looks like a needle and thread, breath drops, uh, pain reliever, double-sided tape. Thank you, ColourPop. Sorry if I'm like really low energy right now, you guys. I am fighting sleep so hard. Okay, here are the new colors. That one, I'm really into that one. That is really pretty. I feel like these two, they have other colors already out that are just so similar. Like they're all really warm toned. This kind of like navy teal. Is that even a thing? Navy teal? That's what it looks like to me. It's called Mothership. These are really cute. All right, and the next box is another one from Pop Beauty. I'm really excited. The last set of highlighters they sent me was like so next level. They are so good. Dang, let's see. That's fun. 24 karat face base, radiant blurring primer. So we also have a makeup magnet mist, and this is a energizing and hydrating setting spray. Always down to try a new setting spray. What is this? Eye Magnet Primer. So this is an eye base, probably like an eyeshadow base. This is a water resistant eyeshadow primer that works like a magnet by holding your shadow in place. Very cool. Is a liquid eyeliner. It's called Ink Outliner. And it looks like a palette too. That is pretty. This is like giving me like throwback vibes. I don't think I've bought or owned a palette with like all those shades in a really, really, really long time. They all look to be shimmery. I don't really see any mattes in here. I feel like a lot of companies are starting to do that, like all shimmer palettes. I'm not mad at it. Okay, and then what is this? Setting 101. It's shrink-wrapped. So there's a translucent setting powder, banana set and correct, and a peach tone. So it looks like these are just all pressed powders. Very cool. Thank you, Pop Beauty. I'm excited to try these out. I'm actually like the most excited about these two. I'm really curious to see how these work. Also, I did end up getting this garland from the thrift store earlier. It was actually more like an antique store, but it's this like twig garland. And some of them do have a little bit of glitter on these. And I actually scored this with some birthday money that I had. So um, I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna hopefully hang that up tomorrow and I will show you guys. You guys, this next thing that I scored, feeling so much like Joanna Gaines over here, okay. I got this really cute little vintage like utensil holder. The plan is to put like all my wooden spoons and stuff in this. Just give you a little, you know, 
obviously I'll have more than just that, but that's kind of the idea. I need to kind of like reorganize this whole situation here. I'm gonna leave all of this over here the way it is, just because we have the Google Home set up over here and the cords are all put together nice and I love my marble fruit dish. A lot of you guys have actually asked about this. This is from Crate and Barrel. So I like this side, this side not so much. I think I'm gonna end up putting the Keurig over here. This, uh, I don't even wanna show you that. It's just a wreck over there. And that's where I have the espresso maker. I'm wanting to put them all together. So then over here, it would leave me some space to um, have some cute stuff like this and then maybe just another piece of decor or something over here. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me to have two different places to make coffee in the kitchen when I could just put them all together on one bigger side of the kitchen. I need to hop back on the computer and keep editing. Like I said, I'm gonna try not to talk about it so much. Cause like I said, it's vlog mess, duh. Editing every single day. It just takes up so much of my day that I'm like, hmm, so I'm editing. The eyeballs are officially burning. I'm working on the thumbnail now, thankfully. And I just have to. Ooh, ooh, I was about to rip my hair out. Oh man, I got these on really good. Look how red my eyes are right there. I'm so tired. In case anyone was wondering, wearing my sirens. My eyes feel five pounds lighter. Okay, Eminem, how's it going tonight? It's sanity, it's sanity coming at me, it's sanity. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> Two trailer park girls. Go round me outside. So, just got back from Dave and Buster's, which I set the, I set the high score on the little basketball game. Me and my brother were the only ones in Dave and Buster's. Like, you know people say that all the time, like, we're the only ones there. We were the only ones in that entire Dave and Buster's. And it was kind of fun, actually. We went around to any game we want, no lines. Uh, <laughs> Monday night, apparently, is the night to go to Dave and Buster's, let me tell you. You got that fast pass. I got the fast pass on lock. Insanity. What is this insanity? <laughs> Anyway, we went up to the bar, the bar, and we got waters, and we were playing. <laughs> Sounds like a fun night. <laughs> well, I was literally doing that shot, that basketball game, so many times to get that high score that I had to go get water. The bartender was like, are you guys having fun? <laughs> I mean, it's not like we were keeping them there. They have to be there until they close, which is midnight. And, you know, we were, it was like 10.30 or 11. It was pretty fun. Got to watch the uh, Patriots lose on the big screen which was amazing because <laughs> um, I sure don't like the Patriots because we're Chiefs fans that's Done. why question of oh. the day I literally just uploaded the vlog two minutes ago so I have no comments to choose from yet obviously because we just Shame. posted <laughs> so we'll pick back up with that tomorrow but we'll still ask a question for you guys to answer today okay so check this out here's the question when you're at the arcade what is your game of choice? What are you the best at, period? Mine is Galaga and he also- really is so good at it. Mine is Galaga and also the little basketball shot game. Uh, let us know what you're the best at. Classic, new games, old school, new school, whatever it is. I want to hear about it. I love arcades. Beyond that, I want you guys to have a great night. Have a good one anytime that you see us on YouTube. All right, night guys.